So we've just finished the uh, GTR. We've actually finished the system a little while ago. It's come back to have a, just a couple of little things done. I've never done a video or actually taken any images of the, the finished product. This is sort of stage three of this installation. I'll show you around it and then I'll discuss the system with you. I just panned through there was the boot with uh, two uh, two Audison amplifiers, an AV 5.1K and an AV Quattro. They ran full DA via a Bit 10D, which is under the passenger seat. Um, it runs Cat 5E instead of analog RCA. Um, the Quattro is running bridged on the mid base, 400 watts per side, stellar amp. Um, the 5.1K is running the mid ranges, which are in the kicks the tweeters and the uh, mirror backs and it's being streamed to via airplay from uh, an iPad so you know anything about the GTR systems they're they're just pants they're, 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 they're so bad for such a for such an awesome car and um, yeah so essentially this streams via Wi-Fi digitally to a processor goes out of the processor digitally to the amps and it's converted right at the last minute so we have a, a completely digital stream um, you know which allows us no distortion whatsoever throughout the range. Um, car belongs to a DJ and he likes he likes music to hit really hard so yeah we've got uh, two JL TW5 slimline muffers in the back 13s um, I'll come round I'll show you the custom grill that I made for, for the subs to pass through. I don't know if you can see that. If you're a, a GTR owner you'll know that there's a Bose grill there with two six inch sort of holes that are, that are perforated but they're not very well perforated. You get to the back of them and they're almost completely sealed. I'll see if I can show you the, the mid-range and the, and the kick. You can just see that there. Great location, stages really well. I think you can just at the top of your screen. Um, this is a custom panel. This is like the, the AC controller, heaters, all sorts of stuff like that that controls everything. It's usually down in the center console here. We had to relocate that to the roof. It's uh, 105 meters of cable to extend it. It's 50 something cables. Um, yeah, we, we've refitted a new interior light, which is still quite bright, but it's not as bright as the sun like the, like the last one was. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, so other custom touches in here. The car's fully deadened, so the roof's deadened, the floor pan, everything. Um, it's a much quieter experience. I know it's blasphemy in a GTR, it shouldn't be you know, adding weight to it, etc. But this guy owns this car, does what he wants. He, you know, he wants it to sound fantastic, he wants it to drive fantastic, and it really is the whole the whole package. We mounted the controller for the DSP down in the um, in front of the, the factory disc drive unit, which just isn't isn't used anymore because of our system. Um, we're using. I'm playing right now from Apple um, Apple Music. Predominantly, we use Tidal because we because we've got the tech to be you know as high a resolution as we possibly can be from this unit. Thanks for watching. I'll give you a little one more walk around for. Uh, for the car and um, yeah follow us share do you like cheers